As a homeowner, I'm always working on something. As a builder, I get to see what works and what doesn't. It eliminates uh, arsenic, barium, cadmium, chromium, copper, fluoride. Is the pest controlled, effective, and safe for children and pets? Today on Building for Better Living, we'll visit a Green Business Expo to see the latest innovations in conserving resources. Then we'll discover a great alternative to bottled water, and although none of us want to think about it, termites are always a possibility. So we'll talk with Steve Hotzenpiller about how to prevent them. Steve's been killing bugs since he was a kid, but now he's taking it to a whole new level. Today we'll address one of the most serious insect issues out there, termite infestation. Steve, why don't you talk to us a little bit today about what you're doing? Well, sure. We're protecting this house from termites, which is one of the most devastating insects that we have to deal with. Yep. Uh, termites are really bad in Missouri, and they can cause over $5 billion in property damage every year. That's uh, an exorbitant amount of damage that these little bugs can cause. Uh, you betcha. Uh, the best way to solve this problem is to get rid of the colony, and the only one way to do that is use the Centricon system, which is what we're doing now. Yeah, I'd put one there, one there, one there, and by that time, unlike a, a traditional liquid treatment where we're just trying to control termites and kill the ones only that forge into the zone of treatment, we're using a growth inhibitor uh, to have them feed on and take to the colony and eliminate the entire colony once and for all. So when the insect comes into these systems, they'll eat it, they'll take it back to the colony, it's going to kill the mother. That's Is that right. right? <laughs> that's that right. how it works? Well, that's exactly right. The, the colony uh, starts with a king and queen. This queen can live 25 to 30 years and lay an egg about every 15 seconds. And so about 5,000 new members are developed every day. And that just goes on and on every day. Uh, the majority of those members are workers, and a worker can live four to five years and forage about a 400-foot radius around the colony. It's active 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and all it does is look for food, which is anything cellulose, to eat, swallow, and bring back to the colony. Yeah. With the, yeah so with the Centricon system, we uh, have a cellulose device inside, which is actually called Recruit HD Always Active. Uh, it's, it's a bait and monitor device all in one. There's about 140 grams of a product called Nova Flumeron in this device. Okay and termites actually prefer this 75% more than just plain wood. Okay. By surrounding the house with these devices, workers will naturally forage for food and they'll find this and they'll, they love it. Yep. They'll eat it and swallow it, feed it to the others, and within a couple months of that process, we've eliminated the entire colony. And one of these will kill up to how many termites? 25 million 25 per million device, termites. you betcha. Wow, that's a pretty awesome system. Now in this particular case, you've done some inspection on it. Did you find any evidence of termite no, in this case we did not. Uh, we did not, and actually we're, uh, we're doing this as prevention. Why don't you talk a little bit about what would happen if somebody didn't do a preventative measure? We can still get rid of the problem, but there could also be some structural damage involved and some expense there. Because the termites are looking for the wood, if they don't have these bait systems, they're going to try to maybe right. go to the house. That's exactly right. <laughs> Worker termites are, are active, like I say, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and they're going to find any kind of cellulose in their environment by themselves. Gotcha and they, they like front porches, they like areas where they can gain a, easy access into the building. If there's a crack, even a 30th of an inch, that's an entry point. Okay. And they're, just like anything else in nature, if there's a way to get in, they're gonna find it. By, by having the house surrounded with, with something they're looking for, it's kind of like a termite burglar alarm that we've got around the house. And, and once they find this device, they've actually eaten a trail from the colony through the soil to, the, to our unit, mm -hmm. and now they're feeding it back to the rest. And within a couple of months, we've got the entire colony eliminated. So if they wait until damage is done, you guys can still come in here, put this system in, and it'll still eliminate the colony. But you're talking thousands and thousands of dollars of damage on the house probably before that happens. It could, you know, that, that every case is different, and sometimes we see them where they just get started, and other times it's been, they've been there for several years. Gotcha. Um, so there is going to be some expense to repair the house. Another expense is when we put this in as prevention, it's quite a bit cheaper than if we put it in for a, a real curative problem. Gotcha. Now that you have these systems in place, what do you do to monitor the system to see if there's termites here or active? Sure. Yeah, we have a, a tool that looks like a metal detector, and um, it picks up a computer uh, chip barcode, which is on the back of every one of these caps. Um, looks just like a metal detector. We scan right over the top, and in fact, if they're covered up in mulch or, or any other kind of ground cover, we can read right through that, locate the station. Okay. Then we physically pull it out and, and, and inspect it. 
and we're looking for any kind of sign of termite infestation, live termites, or, or consumption of the device. This device is only replaced when it's a third consumed, and uh, this one device can kill several colonies. It's not just taken out after a colony's been eliminated. It's only replaced when it's been a third consumed. And it can actually last three to five years in the ground without having to replace it. Once we have this installed, we, we check it in the fall, and it's just checked once, to, once a year in the fall. However, we're, like I say, our trained technicians are, when they're doing the general pest treatment, they're looking for any kind of termite uh, signs of mud trailing or, or just any kind of something that doesn't look right. This season of Building for Better Living brought to you in part by Mark Hall Cabinetry, where everything you imagine materializes. Steve's Pest Control. Now you have a friend in the pest control business. Slumberland Furniture. The way you live, the way you save. If you came to Slumberland and said, I want this sofa. I want a thousand of them. We'd give you one heck of a discount. That's called buying power. And with over 120 stores, Slumberland has the power to save you big money. That's why you can design rooms that look like this, or this, or this, at an amazing price. Slumberland's buying power turns into your buying power. And you get so much more for so much less. A termite eating through the wall of my home. An infestation of ants crawling on my kitchen counter. A brown recluse spider about to bite my son. Roaches crawling in my cabinets. If you've got a bug problem, don't call a psychiatrist. Just call me at Steve's Pest Control. Now you got a friend in the pest control business. Steve's Pest Control. Imagine style so eloquent that functionality is secondary. Imagine expert guidance and a process that's all about you. Imagine exceptional quality at a price you can feel good about. Imagine immense satisfaction. Mark Hall Cabinetry, where everything you imagine materializes. Wouldn't it be great if everything were free? You really can have free solar energy. With today's utility rebates and federal tax credits, solar energy can provide immediate cost savings on your utility bill and free electricity often in just a few years. So while you have to keep paying for everything else, find out how you can get free energy from the sun today. Missouri Solar Applications, a shining solution. Closed captioning brought to you by... On Lamone Industrial Boulevard. We're here at the Green Business Expo at the village of Cherry Hill in Columbia, Missouri, where it's all about information and resources to save money and live greener, healthier lives. So Sean, why a Green Business Expo? Well, Cole, we're finding that people are hungry for information about how to improve their homes, about how to save money, about how to live healthier, and the Green Business Expo brought together those people with the professionals who have the technologies and the processes to help them do all of those things. It really was just a natural to make it happen. Absolutely, because right now it is imperative that we start looking to save money because, let's face it, it's kind of hard to go out there and get more money. It's a lot easier to, to take care of the resources and conserve the resources you already have. So the timing is great. And it looks like we've had a great turnout here. Uh, what's been the reaction of folks as they've passed through the booths? Oh, Cole, they just love it. They're learning so much. Um, there's so many ways to save money, to live healthier, whether it is you know, something that seems very high tech, like um, wind power um, that you can actually do at your home, or solar energy, or something that is, um, seems a lot lower tech, a healthier organic way to treat your lawn that is safer and helps your lawn grow and doesn't hurt the water, and those sorts of things. People are excited about all the things they can learn. And then you've got all of these professionals who are able to provide things that maybe they couldn't provide even just a few years ago, and they're excited to share that information with the people who are hungry for it. It's just a great combination. And as you mentioned, add value to their home. There's some excellent ways to make big differences right here, and, and we're seeing them as we go through the right. booths, so that's, that's excellent. Were there any challenges or surprises as you were preparing for this event? 
Oh, you know, there are always so many challenges and surprises, but really in this case, it was just a matter of bringing the people together because homeowners are so hungry for knowledge for how to improve their homes and improve the resell prices and to make their homes more fun and more enjoyable and less expensive. And then you've got all these people with so much information to share with them. And really it was just get, making sure we got those folks together. Well, Sean, it's been great talking with you. I'm gonna head over to the Energy Link booth and see what they have to offer. Thanks, Sean. Chris? Cole, how are you? Good, how are things going today? Doing great. Uh, a lot of good activity here at the fair. Uh, a lot of people stopping by and curious about uh, what we do. Well, what is Energy Link all about? We are an energy reduction service. We perform a consultation and a comprehensive survey of the home. We follow that with a, a, a consultation with the homeowner to present options for their improvements. And then finally, we, we uh, finish by making the installs. So for anybody who's considering any energy efficiency improvement in their home, maybe as simple as uh, door weather stripping. We'd like to encourage the audit first so that they're, they're educated on their choices and uh, after their consultation, they can make the right decision of how to install that. Because installation is crucial. You can do an audit, you can give all the information, but if you don't have the professionals to do the install, it may not give you the results you're looking for. That's right. Uh, they're easy installations, but little things can make them not perform properly at all. So we, we include an auditor during the installation to oversee uh, our professional installers to make sure they are installing it right the first time. So everything from start to finish is foolproof. You're going to have that energy audit, get the results, you're going to get it installed correctly, and you're on your way to savings. That's correct. We are a full service, all-inclusive energy efficiency company. A lot of great information today. Really enjoyed visit with you today, you bet. Chris. Thank you very much. This is Dan with Dogwood Solar, and he's the expert at harnessing the power of the sun. Dan, tell us a little bit about what you do at Dogwood Solar. Thanks, Cole. Uh, we bring solar into people's lives, and one of the ways we do that is through a, a V-Lux sun tunnel or a tubular skylight. It's a skylight that can be installed in homes in a lot of places where a traditional skylight couldn't be. Uh, typically, that's going to bring light into dark bathrooms or hallways, closets, that kind of stuff. Kitchens are another popular spot. To me, at my core, and what I'm passionate about is we're looking to reduce the, our impact on the environment through greenhouse gases. And in this case, we're using the lights less. Um, and you know, it's a small amount, but it, we are using less, less electricity to do it. Uh, by doing that, we're saving a little bit of money and we're helping future generations out through lower fossil fuel use as well as you know, the quality of life that you're getting through beautiful sunlight in your home every day. So with the sun tunnel, basically, you're putting one of these units in to replace electrical light that you may have to use in your home. Or in addition to, you know, because obviously we're not going to get a lot of use out of this at night, right? So it, it's a great way to brighten up the space during the day. You know, if you have a dark bathroom, or interior bathroom with no windows or dark hallways, kitchens, that kind of stuff, you can bring in the bright, beautiful, natural light, light up the space without using electricity, as well as get some of the health benefits, you know, from, you know, being in the sun and, and some of the associated benefits with that. Used to be this big two by two or two by three right. foot hole in your ceiling, these are very uh, less intrusive. That's right, you've got a small flashing and a dome on the roof and then the tunnels within the attic space and then you've got just a flush mounted ceiling ring in the, the space you're trying to light and it's not sticking out of the way, you know, it, it's not intrusive at all, but it really brings a lot of light. And uh, looking at the pictures, the uh, the difference is very dramatic. Yeah, dr dramatic sums it up pretty well. It, it's it's almost shocking. It, like We can talk about this and say it's going to brighten your room, but until you see how much light we're talking about, it's, it's really pretty incredible. The before and afters tell the story better than, than I can. Yeah, absolutely. So now, the best way to start saving money now is get one of these sun tunnels installed in your home. That way you can use less electricity during the day and start saving money. Pretty much sums it up there. This season of Building for Better Living brought to you in part by Nancy Allison Shelter Insurance. We're your shield, we're your shelter. Carpet One, beautiful made affordable. At Shelter Insurance, we're people who know that the first love of your life. I need you to take the shoes off. Might have been made of steel. Thank you. Shelter Insurance. 
for your auto, home, and life. We're your shield. We're your shelter. Ask agent Nancy Allison about Shelter's auto insurance discounts. Carpet One Floor and Home, good friends of mine because they treat their customers right. I know that firsthand. But I bet there are some things you don't know about Carpet One, even though they've been in business since 1968. Not only do they carry the great carpet lines like Tigressa, Relax Its Lees, and Karistan, they have a huge tile showroom and hardwood collection. They also carry Hunter Douglas window treatments and now offer the Healthier Living Installation System. I'm Paul Pepper, and Carpet One Floor and Home is a friend of mine. We finally found our house, and we really love it. But when we moved in, everything dripped and dripped and dripped. I asked the neighbor for a referral, and he said, call Mr. Rooter Plumbing. So I did. Oh, they were courteous, professional, nice and neat, did a great job. I can see why people refer Mr. Rooter. Now it's my turn. Call Mr. Rooter. Closed captioning brought to you by On Lamone Industrial Boulevard. There's been such a focus in the last few years concerning bottled water. One, we all want clean, pure, filtered water for our health, but we don't want to clog up the landfills with all that plastic. Bill, it looks like this might be the solution. This really is for the people that enjoy drinking the bottled water or just like really good tasting water. The reverse osmosis is the way to go. It does give you the bottled water quality and it's right there at your faucet. You turn a handle on and you know, that's what you're drinking. You're drinking bottled water and the same as you buy. So it, you know, it really saves you money in that department. You don't have to go to the store and buy all the, you know, the packages of bottled water and, you know, keep them in your fridge. I mean, you've got it right there at your tap. Tell us how this works. Talk to us a little bit about the system. You know, we have a, a line that comes basically from your faucets, comes in here. It goes through, this particular one has five stages, five filters that it goes through and it goes back out to the, the separate faucet that you have, you know, next to your kitchen sink or, you know, wherever you may put it. Whenever somebody wants us to put in a, a reverse osmosis system, if we can put it down in the basement, that's where I'd like to put it, just because it, otherwise we have to put it underneath the kitchen sink, and when we do that, it kind of eats up the space underneath the sink. So if we can put it down here, we can actually mount it on the wall. It makes all the filters really accessible, and plus, like I said, you get the have the space underneath the kitchen sink for storage. It eliminates uh, arsenic, barium, cadmium, chromium, copper, fluoride, lead, nitrate, actually three forms of nitrates, radium, selenium, and cis. So basically it has its own tap right next to your faucet. Yeah. You can turn that on to fill up your glass with water or fill up bottles that you may have to recycle those bottles. Because that's the biggest thing, like you say, you don't have to buy all those packages of plastic. Uh, you buy them one time and you can keep filling those up if you want a place to store it. That's right and that's actually what we do here at our house. You know all the plastic bottles that we get whether it be you know bottled water or bottles of Gatorade or anything we, we, you know, we rinse them out we fill them full of you know our reverse osmosis water and they just keep them on hand so that when we're thirsty we want cold water we go to the fridge we pull out the bottle and we're not you know adding anything to landfills we're not you know adding all the plastic and the waste that we would normally, you know, put there. Uh, and like I said, also, we have the option, we want to get a couple ice cubes out of the freezer, you know, we can just pour a glass and, you know, take it that way and, and drink it. Uh, also, one of the big things that I enjoy, and it's just kind of silly, but you get the clear ice cubes, just like you get at the restaurants. You know, there's no more of the little cloudiness in them. <laughs> it's the pure, clear ice cubes. So, you know, that's my little tidbit that I, I enjoy about the reverse osmosis, so. So if you want to save money on all those plastic bottles, quit buying all those things at the store, and have good drinking water at your fingertips, it's time to get a reverse osmosis system. And actually, I'm gonna try it out here. You're right, that's good. Just as good as the bottle. Yeah. 
One of the areas to check before adding attic insulation is for proper venting of exhaust fans. Today we're going to go over how to actually vent out an exhaust vent over either to a soffit, you can go over to a gable vent, or straight out the roof. Today we're going to be exhausting it out just below the gable vent. All we'll need is a flex hose, a damper, and some rings to tighten up the flex hose. I'm going to start by sliding the ring over the flex hose and attaching it to the exhaust fan. Okay. Next, we'll run the hose across the attic and over to the exit point. Now we've run the flex hose across the attic and over to the wall. Note that we've cut the hole below or level with where the flex hose will be running. If it were installed up here, you could end up with condensation that would drip back and run down into the house. First we'll slide the ring over where we're going to connect here. We'll slide it over the hose and install the damper. Be sure to install it the direction that it shows the airflow will be moving. After you have it installed, check to make sure it's snug and tight. You can foam seal around the outside of this and it's ready to go. For more information, visit our website at GoEnergyLink.com. Being here helps us to focus on what really matters. It's one place we can all agree on. Our experience here on Sunday touches our lives all week long. Forum Christian Church, connecting, growing, living. What should we do? Better call our shelter agent. Yeah. Hey Tom, you got a sec? Yeah, sure. We know what the weather is like in your area because we live in your area. Shelter Insurance, for your auto, home, and life. We're your shield. We're your shelter. Ask Shelter Agent Nancy Allison about Shelter's competitive insurance rates. Wouldn't it be great if everything were free? You really can have free solar energy. With today's utility rebates and federal tax credits, solar energy can provide immediate cost savings on your utility bill and free electricity often in just a few years. So while you have to keep paying for everything else, find out how you can get free energy from the sun today. Missouri Solar Applications, a shining solution. Scout is going through a stage. She loves to flush her toys down the toilet. So when the toilet backed up, my mom said, call Mr. Rooter Plumbing. They were courteous and professional and did a great job. Closed captioning brought to you by... On Lamone Industrial Boulevard. Why don't we go take a look at what the guys do to make sure that this house is protected against general pests. Well, the first thing we do is we uh, inspect the outside of the house for any kind of webbing, uh, mud dauber nests, and we knock all those down. And then we have a backpack sprayer with a little more of a concentrated material. Uh, we had all the entry points where pests are going to want to try to enter the building. So you'll go around the garage door like yeah, we just saw? Garage, garage door, garage eaves that we can reach around the windows and doors and any kind of overhang that's within reach. And then uh, we finish everything with the service we call an exterior power spray. And what that is, it's a 100-gallon tank on all of our trucks, a 200-foot hose, a gun attachment, and a motor and pump. It allows us to spray every point of the house. We can spray about 20 to 25 feet in the air with it. You'll make sure that uh, this is keeping all the pests from getting into the home. That's right. 
there's going to be a lot of things like wasps and lady beetles and cluster flies perhaps and just a lot of things are going to want to try to get access into cracks and crevices. This allows us to treat all the peaks and eaves and overhangs. We go all the way down to the ground and we go about a five foot radius treating mulch and shrubs and you know kind of for mosquito control and just any general pest that could be out there. Once you take care of this outside you, you only treat the inside of the house one time, is that right? That is correct. One regular time. However, if there's ever a need to do anything on the inside, we you know, definitely do it. But our, our logic behind this is we're going to eliminate what's on the inside on the first visit, and we're going to maintain nothing ever getting in by doing the outside so thoroughly. Steve, when we're on the outside, we talked about how the guys come in and will spray the inside of the home one time a year. You guys are taking care of the bugs outside so they're not getting in, only need that one time spray. Probably one of the biggest concerns for families is the pest control, the effective and safe for children and pets. It absolutely is. Uh, everything we use is odorless. It's EPA listed and approved and we apply it according to the manufacturer's label. The guys that do the applications are experts. They're uh, commercial certified operators with tons of training and field experience. Uh, we try to uh, uh, infuse integrated pest management with our service as much as we can. We can sometimes use glue board traps, other baiting techniques, and just kind of pinpoint accuracy when we do the inside. But the real problem, like I say, is the outside, and that's where we really attack the outside so that there's nothing out there to come in any further. Right, so you're not just coming in and spraying the whole house down with it, uh, pesticide? No, absolutely not. Right. Uh, same thing with the, uh, the uh, termite prevention on the outside. One of the things I have a concern for is if my children were to get into the bait stations. Sure, it'd be extremely difficult to get in a station. Uh, they are locked. We have a special slotted pair of pliers that opens them up. And without a tool, I don't think an adult could even bare hand open them up. Okay. Uh, if they were to become open, there's nothing harmful about the baited material in any way. It's, it's, a, it's a growth inhibitor that only affects termites. It actually doesn't even affect any other insect. And it's uh, completely safe for the environment. And, if a child or a dog ate the bait, it wouldn't be harmful. I don't have to worry about my child getting into it, and then if they did, it's not gonna hurt them anyway. That's right. In fact, it's so safe, it's uh, been awarded the uh, Green Chemical Award from EPA. Now, all the products are family friendly, safe for the environment. Sounds to me like we have a winning combination. We do. Well, Steve, I really appreciate you coming and talking to us a little bit about termite prevention and also general pest control. It's been, it's been great talking to you and learning more information about that. Well, my pleasure. Thank you. Well, the products that I brought for you today, number one is a primer that we need to use. Yeah, and the problem is during the winter, it's going to be sucking in cold air that your system has to heat up even more. And during the summer, it's sucking in hot air that your system has to cool even more.